Hi, I'm Dennis Martin, President of Demartic. In today's video, we examine the Intel X520 10 Gigabit Converge Network Adapter for FCOE and iSCSI storage performance. Converged, or unified networks, have been garnering considerable attention recently, especially as the 10 gig per second fiber channel over Ethernet standards have been made official in recent years. It is now possible to run fiber channel over Ethernet, or FCOE, and iSCSI storage protocols on Ethernet networks. Fiber channel networks carry native fiber channel storage traffic. In the past, host servers required two types of adapters to run Ethernet and fiber channel traffic. Among other things, this requires two sets of network cables to be connected to the servers. With converged networks, only one set of cables is required for the host servers. There are two approaches to providing a converged adapter. One approach is to use proprietary hardware adapters with offloaded FC, FCOE, and iSCSI protocols embedded in the adapter hardware. The second approach, which Intel has chosen, is to take advantage of the native FCOE and iSCSI initiators in the operating systems. Intel has built its adapter to work in a complementary way with the platform hardware and operating system to enable FCOE and iSCSI traffic, all at lower cost than competitive adapters. For this evaluation, we tested three brands of 10 gigabit converged adapters. These are the Intel X520, the Emulex OCE11102, and the QLogic QLE8242. Let's start by looking at the retail cost for these adapters. We looked at the prices for the SFP Plus style adapters with and without transceivers. In each category, the Intel adapter is less expensive, sometimes by as much as one third. We ran several hundred performance test cases with a variety of well-known real-world configurations of fiber channel, FCOE, and iSCSI storage systems. We ran a variety of application and synthetic workloads, and we ran these workloads in virtual machine environments with different numbers of guest virtual machines. The host adapters were installed into the servers taking all of the factory default settings. The goal of this testing was to use configurations that end users would actually have in their IT shops. Here is a sampling of the exchange jet stress results for FCOE. For the FCOE targets, we achieved higher IOPS with the Intel adapter in the four guest configuration. For jet stress database read latency, the Intel adapter achieved better latency in the four guest case. For the Oracle Orion FCOE tests with four guest virtual machines, we obtained slightly higher performance with the Intel adapter at the 8K block size. For the SQL I.O. iSCSI tests with four guest virtual machines, we obtained very similar performance for all the adapters at all the thread counts and queue depths at the 8K block size. For the Apache web server tests with all the storage systems and protocols, we obtained mixed results. In some cases, the Intel adapter performed better. In other cases, the other adapters performed better. In running a fairly broad set of application tests with varied parameters, we attempted to reproduce many of the types of virtual machine environments that customers have. The performance of the three competing adapters in these tests was fairly close, and as a result, IT professionals need to consider other aspects, such as the price of the adapters. Intel's host-based approach to storage protocol processing does use somewhat more CPU than the full offload approaches. However, the differences are small enough to be insignificant and will continue to get smaller with each new generation of processors. To get the full report, please visit our website at www.demartech.com or search for Demartech Intel X520 Evaluation in your favorite search engine. While you're on our website, have a look at our other reports, evaluations, and deployment guides. We also invite you to sign up for our free monthly newsletter. I'm Dennis Martin, and thanks for watching.